Hey everyone, today I'm doing something really kind of niche, but hold on, definitely still watch it if you're here because of personality and to learn Canva tricks. I promise you're going to learn Canva tricks even if you don't need the specific thing. So today I'm going to be building a calendar. I really need one. I'm resisting the urge to go to Target. Hold your applause, I know, thank you. I'm trying to buy less, spend less, consume less, and I don't need to go to Target every time I think I want a new notebook or new stationery. Also, I invested, obviously you can't see, I invested in a printer last year or the year before. I have a professional design printer. What am I doing? going to Target all the time. So I am in dire need of a calendar. So on my desk to be able to have a bird's eye view of my projects. Um, but Olivia, you use ClickUp and HoneyBook. I know, I know. But if you're anything like me, then you prefer tactile, tangible paper sometimes. It's very hard for my brain to wrap around digital tools a lot of the time. So today I'm gonna to be making a calendar. This is also like the fifth time I've recorded this video. It's fine, I don't know why it's so hard to make a calendar. I'm gonna be covering three main things, templates in Canva. So even if you don't need a calendar, stick around to see how I figure out how to get a template for Canva. Styles, adjusting styles. I'm also going to be going over some structure and then last but not least, saving my calendar and exporting as a PDF. So let's go. First, oh boy, <laughs> first I had to decide for myself, do I st where do I start with a calendar template? You can see this very tempting wall calendar right here, which was again, super tempting. If I click on this, uh, it's fancy schmancy and you can actually print a wall calendar. So this is a wall calendar. So that's fancy. Now it's 2450. I could design my own yearly wall calendar. That is really cool but I don't want to spend $24.50. I spent like a, like a bajillion dollars on a fancy printer. I'm trying to spend zero dollars, right? So I'm going to skip this. I know that I need, oh, actually, but it is eight and a half by 11. So that's good news. So I am gonna start here, actually. Um, so I'm gonna come over here to templates, inside pages. Where's the inside pages? Because I obviously need a calendar template. All right, here we go. So here's some calendar templates, great. But let's go into some other templates before I go over there. So originally, you can see I've tried it a bunch. <laughs> originally, I just typed in calendar into templates and just saw what Canva wanted to spit out at me. You're gonna see that these all look long and skinny. Canva also has the skinny ones that have the spiral at the top, like a desk calendar, but they don't have an option to print that one, so you would have to send that off to Vistaprint. And I knew that's not what I needed. Um, I also, up here, you're gonna see that they have some keywords for you. So if you're looking for a classroom calendar, a Christmas calendar, a photo calendar, I knew that I needed a monthly calendar. I'm looking for my months, right? So then you're gonna see a lot of different formats here. And this is where you do need to jot down on paper what your needs are, even if it's not a calendar. Let's say you're looking for, I don't know, a notepad or your own planner. Maybe you wanna make your own planner. You've got to sort of jot it down. So I know specifically that I need my days to be solid. So this template wouldn't work because there's too much space in between the days. I need to be able to draw a highlighter and see. And I also need space for notes and it would be a nightmare for me to change it every single time. That's actually pretty close. Next up, I know that under business, I need it to be a doc, a doc, right? So here's all of the different styles of document. And that's really, really important, right? Because I'm going to have to shift and, and change a um, shift and change the document. So I've got a doc, which is eight and a half by 11 in America. Outside of America, it's like A4, A6, A5. I don't know all of them. Sorry for my non-American folks. Um, a presentation, whiteboard, which has no bounds. It's just a giant thing. And then there's all kind of other stuff. You can make websites now, which I will, I'll cover reluctantly. Um, invoice proposal, all that good stuff. So here I would click on document and then, oh, no, that's not what I wanted. Doc, where do I go to change? Well, that didn't do what I, oh, templates. Monthly calendar, monthly calendar, 2023. That was a mistake I made in like three of the previous videos. Um, Here we go, filters, doc, monthly calendar. That's weird because I did definitely found some earlier. Am I spelling calendar wrong? No, there we go. So here's just a bunch of them. But I'm gonna come back over here because this actually has probably more of what I need. 
I don't really want to print it though. And I do want it to be landscape. So over here, one thing that I'm going to check on also as you hover over these items, you're going to notice that these things have information. And this is also really important because I want all 12 months. I don't want to type them out. You, you guys think I have time for that? I'm not typing out every single day of the month in my own little table, although I might if I can't find one I really need. I am not above that. Um, <laughs> I might end up doing it. Um, so I've got a bunch of calendars over here and I'm hovering to check that they have what I need. So this one right off the bat has the calendar on the left and then some notes on the right, which is pretty much exactly what I'm looking for, which is really exciting. So I'm going to click on this and we're going to, we're going to see what the jam is. Ooh. So if right off the bat, I can't really change much about these. This isn't going to print well on my printer. So we're going to come back maybe... Man, let's do calendar with notes. They're gonna make me, do oh, here we go. Oh, there's a bunch of them. Oh, no, there's not because now look at this. See, see now I'm hovering and there's not a one out of 12. I need a one out of 12. Here's one. Is this 2023 though? 2022, mm. So now I'm gonna have to kind of sit here and look around until I find the most perfect calendar template that already has everything unless I get really, really stubborn and really, really desperate and then I will make my own. Yeah, none of these have notes with them. Well, that one kind of does. Ooh, ooh, <gasps> here she is, gorgeous. Now I can't share this template with you because that is um, against Canva's terms. Oh my gosh, she's beautiful. This is exactly what I was looking for. I'm thrilled. This is exactly what, okay. Oh, calm down, Olivia, calm down. Um, so next up, I'm actually going to click apply all 12 pages and it is going to create all 12 calendar pages for me. Woohoo! Um, so a couple things that I wanna do. First of all, I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I don't really wanna change too, too much. Although I do think I could have a little bit of fun with some of this. So what I'm going to do first is make myself smaller, unfortunately. Uh, and then I'm going to zoom in and just do some light adjustments. So let's say that you want to change the font. Let's remind everyone that you can click on you can click on a font over here and then down here at the bottom, Canva's going to say, hey, I noticed you changed that. Do you want to change everything to this font? So I'm going to click change all. Unfortunately, in this entire document, that's going to be too overwhelming. And I actually happen to like the font that it is in. This is all I need. Just some clean and easy. I actually don't know what these little, oh, it's like the days of the, or like the weeks, I guess. And I specifically love this. It's awesome. But I am going to show you a trick just in case you do like these and you want to change them. So first I'm going to ungroup this because I can't mess around with it. So you're going to see up here, ungroup, ungroup. On your keyboard, that's also command shift G. Command shift G ungroups and command G groups. If you're a PC user, that is control, control shift G. So we're gonna ungroup that. And I'm gonna change this little square guy to my orange, my brand orange. Now you're gonna see down here at the bottom again, it's gonna say change all black to orange. I could do that, but then it's gonna change everything that's black on this page to orange and I don't want that. So Olivia, what are we gonna do? First of all, I'm gonna bold this number, make it a little bit bigger. I'm gonna do something real fancy. If you've been following Canva Tip Weekly, you're gonna understand where I'm gonna go with this. Okay, then I'm going to hover over this bad boy. I'm gonna click on my three dots. I'm going to click on the paintbrush tool. I'm going to hover, I'm gonna copy all of these little squares and boom, look at that. It changed all of them for me. What? Let's do it again. I'm going to, let's zoom in, let's, let's zoom in. I'm going to copy, I'm sorry, I'm gonna highlight, I'm gonna click and drag and highlight my little number and my orange square. I'm going to click on the three dots up here, click on the paintbrush tool. <clears throat> I'm going to click up here and drag only the things that I want to be applied. Now, yes, there are some pointing. Yes, there are some lines that are being highlighted as well, but Canva is smart enough to know that I'm targeting the shape that is similar. So I'm gonna let go and boom, you're gonna see it just applied that style to all four of these other guys. Amazing. So I'll do it one more time. I just like, I don't think that really helps me, but I kind of like the aesthetic of it. Whoa. Oh, it just applied to all of that too. That's cool, but that's not what I wanted. Oh, I need to ungroup. So make sure you're ungrouping everything. So I'm gonna copy this, 
three dots, paintbrush, drag, boop, just like that. Just like that, it's amazing. So I don't particularly need the days of the week. They're nice, but I'm more looking for... Um, I'm going to highlight all of this, and this, this calendar is actually just honestly perfect. So this is so great. And then I don't need to do... I kind of just want that to be empty. So I'm going to go through and remove the to-do. I'm actually going to use it to write down the profit that I'm making every single month. Yay me. So that I can track... I can eat out fancy every month or, or or if it's ramen noodles. I'm just kidding. I'm successful. It's fine. Uh, okay. All right, cool. I'm also going to take some time to change all the orange. I like the little orange. I really don't need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, I guess it's kind of nice to know the, the year. I'm also going to put my logo at the top to make it feel fancy. So I'm going to scroll down here and click on one of my logos, uh, which I guess it makes more sense for it to be this one, huh? Going to make it small. Another tip for you guys is that once you place an element on Canva, if you command copy or control C, sorry, command C or control C, copy that, and then come down here on the second one and then command V or control V, it's going to place it in the same spot. That's really handy. So now all I have to do is come over here and place this in the same spot. Awesome possum. Oh, I am so thrilled with this calendar. I cannot even tell you guys. I hope this is helpful just like watching me do design work also. Great. I'm thrilled with this. Um, this is exactly what I wanted. If you do want, again, it's against Canva's rules for me to share a template that they themselves designed. But if you want this one, it's black and white, minimal and neutral 2023 monthly wall calendar. If you search it, you should be able to find it like I did. You're also going to see the template style down here just to show you guys a few more things. Um, they've moved the styles to des um, design. So up here on design, you're going to see templates. These are all the templates and then styles. Um, you're going to have to remove. This is why I hate how they moved it. You're going to have to remove that and check it out. There's all kind of stuff happening here. If I click here, brand fonts, it's going to change everything to my brand fonts. And if I click here, it's going to change everything to my brand colors and I can keep clicking to change it a bunch. I don't want this because I'm going to print it. So we're going to undo. So I don't want that. I just was showing it to you guys and I actually like the font, so it's great. Um, the other thing I don't like is I actually need, I need this to be larger, not the smaller text. So I am gonna go through and replace all of this as well to save the month bigger because I need to be able to, did I just spell that right? February. Ugh. Um, cool. Next up, last thing I'm going to do is to show you how to get... Olivia, what are you going to do? How are you going to get this off of Canva? This is probably... You're going to be like, what? That One of the biggest questions I get about designing is once you're done in Canva, what do you do from there, right? I'm pretty happy with this. So I'm actually going to do January 2023. I think all this is good because I'm actually going to... Okay. So I'm going to hit the share button. <clears throat> There's a lot of things going on over here. I'm going to click download. And I want this as a PDF for print. Now, PDF standard versus PDF print. I'm just going to do standard. It's my home printer. It's not that big of a deal. But if you were sending this to uh, Vistaprint or FedEx or something like that, you're going to want PDF print. But for me, I'm going to do PDF standard. Um, I'm only going to do the first page because it's the page that I'm happiest with. And I'm going to click download. Huge misconception here. This goes off of your computer. <laughs> It's off. I'm sorry, off of Canva. This goes off of Canva. People are like, where do I go? I'm like, I don't know where you saved it. <laughs> so I'm going to save this in my, I have a folder called junk drawer. Where is it? That I just put all of my junk into when I know I'm only going to need to use it one time ever. Um, so this is my junk drawer. So I'm going to save it here. And the second I save it here, it's off Canva, that document. You have to then interact with your computer. So this one, I'm going to click uh, show in Finder. I'm going to then double click. And now I've got my PDF here. Yay. And I'm going to print and I'm going to show you. Um, so I'm going to do a print on my home printer. And here we are. 
Look at that. So now I have saved money. I didn't go to Target. I made Kim a tip weekly. I have a calendar that works exactly for me. Uh, this also works for do what you need to do. Make your own planner pages. Make your own um, documents, notepads, note things, or go give Target your money, whatever you'd like to do. But hopefully this was helpful in showing you how to make your very own stationery um, by using Canva templates, the styles, uh, and printing at your home printer or ask a friend. <laughs> or come on, if you're in Atlanta, I'd just say, hey, Olivia, let's, let's grab coffee. Can you print, can you print some calendars for me? All right, guys, thanks so much.